So let's get started. So my name is Shah. Uh, I was system engineer at Apple for five years. And now I do uh, consultation, freelance, and uh, training on our computers in education. So the, today we are going to talk about podcasting. All right? It has become a really, really well-known word. I mean, if even found it in the Oxford Dictionary, it's gone there. Okay? But what actually is it? Okay. Well, Apple introduced a little music player a few years back. And that little music player is called an iPod. It was about that big. I have an example, I think. Well, I think you all know what is an iPod anyway, right? And uh, what's been happening is that people are putting all kinds of content on these little things. So when you combine the words iPod and broadcasting, you get podcasting, all right? So what's cool about podcasting is the same reason why in the United States, TiVo has taken off, right? Because it's a way for people to selectively subscribe to audio on video content. Let's say, for instance, you listen to the radio like EHR or 99.7 radio. Okay? When you listen to the radio, you hope that you will hear a song or a program that you like. Right? Or, in some cases, you hear a song that you wish they stopped playing. Anybody watch Titanic? No more. Do you know how long that song went on radio? It was like I wanted to keep a gun in my car just to shoot it when they played that song again. Alright? It was so painful. So, <laughs> you had a way to choose what content you wanted to listen to. Okay? And this content, with very little effort, could be transferred to this device. So, if it's in the case of audio content, you could be in your car, stuck in a traffic jam. This is KL. Everybody knows what's a traffic jam here. Okay? And you could listen to things like uh, news of the day. You could listen to uh, how to learn Japanese. And instead of wasting time, you have a way to occupy your time. And who's got children? I always ask this question. Who's got kids? All right. Who's ever taken your kids in a car? All right, whoever wanted to kill their kids after four hours with them in the car. <laughs> so what has been happening is that you see people, they're carrying these things in the car, give to the kids, all right, can you just watch this while mommy drives or daddy drives? Okay, so this is cool. Mobile multimedia is cool. It depends on the technology called RSS. RSS came before podcasting. Okay. It stands for Really Simple Syndication or Rich Site Summary. And if you go to a website with RSS, what happens is that the website can update you the moment new content is posted. So it's push rather than pull. It's not you have to go and specifically click on something. The next time you open that website, it then displays whatever new content is online since the last time you visited. And it remembers what you have seen before. So if you were going to the website for the first time, you would say maybe 35 new items. If you were going to that website for the 44th time, then it would say maybe three new items. So it's really, really convenient. Okay? And you can also use it to distribute files, such as PDFs. Now this is an example of a website with an RSS feed. If you use Safari, to access such a website, you'll see a little blue block with the words RSS right there. And when you click on that link, this is what you get. This is the RSS feed for Gizmodo. Gizmodo is a very popular gadget log, right? So you have news articles, and you can actually make the article length longer or shorter or search the article, right? Now, none of this technology requires that you use a Mac. You could do it with PCs. In fact, in some cases, you even have handhelds that can subscribe to RSS feed. But when you're creating the content, the Mac makes it so much easier for you. Okay? Because we have got several mechanisms 
One of them is called the iTunes Music Store. Now, even though we don't have iTunes Music Store in Malaysia, you can't buy music online. You still can subscribe to podcasts online. You go to the music store, you go and click the podcast channel, and you can search for the podcast that you want to view. Right? This is an example of a podcast that's created by a Malaysian teacher in Penang. You can see that he posts one podcast about once a day. Right? Okay. I'll show you an example of his podcast as well. Right? And his podcasts are all video. And you can also have what you call enhanced audio podcasts. This is done by a school in the US. All right? And uh, each section of the podcast, there's our chapter marker. So you could actually go to the chapter that you wanted. Right? Okay. Now there's three steps to doing podcasting. All right? Like I said, it is not that you have to use a Mac to do it. It's just that when you do use a Mac to do it, it becomes so much easier. Right? The first step is to author, to create the content. So on the Mac, we give you iLife which I'll be showing in a bit, iWeb, and if you want to get really sophisticated, you could go and use Final Cut Studio, but it's really overkill for education. Next is distribute. So you could put it on a .Mac account, or if your school or institution has a web server, you could copy that content over to a web server. Okay? And finally, you use iTunes to download that content. And you can install iTunes on the Mac and on a PC. And once it's on a Mac or a PC, take your iPod, plug it in to iTunes, it will synchronize whatever content that you have onto the iPod. Okay. Okay. Now this is the URL where Apple has a lot of information on podcasting. And this is what the website looks like. I'll leave it to you to go there in your own time. And now we're going to have a look at podcasts that people have done. Okay. So I'm going to launch iTunes. Right here. Okay. Now I'll show you two podcasts. You can see that uh, this is a listing. I've got four podcasts here. This is the one done by Che Gunanis in Penang, as a teacher in Penang. Just show him one of these articles. Welcome to my video podcast. Sorry, I was away for almost 60 days. I was busy uh, doing research on the Xserve and a Mac OS server. I would like to thank uh, Mike and Linda for coming down all the way from KL and helping us set up the Xserve. Okay. So it was really easy for him to do this and put it up online. Okay? And he's a teacher who has never used a Mac before. Now this is another one which is pretty nice. Right? This is actually done by a teacher in the US called Joan Halderson. Right? So I'm just going to play you the first clip of this enhanced audio podcast because I think it's really powerful. Yes. And it will go on. All I heard were the sirens going up. Then I left out of the living room with. Cooly, dead! Cooly, cooly, dead, dead! Listen to our podcast! <laughs> Life only happens once, and it will go on. All I heard were the sirens going up. Then I looked out our living room window to see a flock of police cars, fire trucks, and flashing lights. My mom was too hysterical to tell me the news. My dad had died. I was only five when this happened. Family is who I've always turned to for help. They will always be there. 
Now that I am 13 years old, I always think about not having my real dad. I realize that it is okay. Sure, it's hard to deal with, but mom is always there for me. I have a lot of hard times, and a lot of them revolve around school, so there is a ton of stress. When I'm down and afraid to talk, she'll listen. She will always have a way to make me feel better. There are many things that I have to deal with later in life without a dad. I'll have to have my brother walk me down the aisle for my wedding. Plus, my kids will only have one grandpa. I know I have two people I can talk to, though. My brother and my mom. My brother is going off to college this year, so it will be hard. But my life will go on for me. My mom will be there to back me up. Of course, being in middle school, you can't talk to your mom about all the drama, but she'll be there. I know it. I learned so much from my dad, but I learned a lot more from talking about him and what he was like with my family. Not just keeping it all bottled up inside. Through the thick and thin, my family will always be here, no matter the situation. No one should have to live a life without a father. But when you look back, you see that family is what he was in your life. And I still do have my same family, right? He will always be next to my mom when I talk to her. He just can't respond. My family is mine, and they always will be. This is why I believe that no matter the situation, family is always behind you. So that's a sample of a podcast that was done entirely by students. They did it all on their own. Okay. They just were given a little bit of instruction and uh, they were able to do the rest on their own. Alright, so now it's time for me to do my demonstration. And uh, I'm going to do two roles. One is where a teacher creates content for the students to look at. And the second is the part where the student submits this content. Alright, I'll need a volunteer. So I'm going to create a new account. Nice thing about Mac OS X is that it allows me to create as many accounts as I want. Okay. What name would you like to be on your account? So I'm just going to create this account without a password. I'm going to switch over to Urban now. Now this is a blank slate. There's nothing here except for the internet and Urban. Have a seat, Urban. Okay. So he's going to create a web page where he's going to syndicate the content. So first thing on his web page is that I want him to get a nice little photo. Okay. So I hope you comb your hair and everything. Okay, look at that. You'll have to smile. It's a requirement. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have a photo, and uh, this photo will be used on Irvin's website. So I'm going to launch iWeb. We can do without photo book for now. And uh, since this is a, a about me page, I'll just choose about me. And there's already a nice photo there that I could use. I'll have to change it to the world of Urban though. Okay. So we we'll just change this to the world of Urban or Urban's cast or whatever. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Just like Urban's world. Yeah, just straight away is fine. Right? So now he's going to create an assignment. That is, he's going to give a assignment to his student. And this is how he does it. We'll just quit iWeb for the time being. And launch iMovie. And after I launch iMovie, I want you to imagine you're addressing your class and say, dear class, I would like you to create a presentation about African animals, all right? So it's just like something, hi, this is uh, Chiku Irvin. I want you to give me a presentation 
on African animals and I want it by Tuesday, or you will be annihilated by me. <laughs> okay, something like that. Right? So, can you do that? You want to practice first? Can <laughs> you go? Okay. Built in eyesight. Ready? Lights? Camera? Action! Hi, my name is Irvin. I'd like to give you an assignment on Africa. The deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, thanks Ervin. Okay, very good. That's it. So of course there's bits in this video that I don't want, especially that part where he looked at me. That was bad. <laughs> Let's listen. Hi, my name is Ervin. Why did you do that? I <laughs> Simon on Africa. You know, I used to read this novel called The Stand. They were supposed to say that there was nothing wrong, and they kept on looking at the side because there's people with guns sitting there. <laughs> The deadline is tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll just uh, split. We'll just split that. All right. So I'm just going to split this clip at the playhead, and maybe we have a little. Nah, it's okay. We'll just stick to using this clip. Okay. Hi, my name is Ervin. I'd like to give you an assignment on Africa. We'll just Deadline give you a title. Tomorrow. Okay. Now, if the assignment is going to be on Africa, maybe I'd like to help my students out and go to Wikipedia and uh, show them where they can find stuff about Africa. So let's see if we have a fast internet connection. Otherwise, I'm just uh, okay. Africa. It should come up pretty fast. So it's en.wikipedia.allafrica, right? So I'm going to copy this URL. And the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to send this movie over to GarageBand. Hi, my name is Ervin. I'd like to give you an assignment on Africa. The deadline is tomorrow. Okay. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of content to this as well. <coughs> okay. Namely, I'm just going to add a marker. And in this marker, I can say assignment 1. URL title is a link to Africa. And I'll put the URL which I pasted in over here. And after that, we'll have a look at the info page. So we'll say here title is uh, assignment one. That's fine. Artist is Irvin, and uh, okay, it's obviously it's clean, right? <laughs> okay, for now, you, you're scaring me. <laughs> hey, students, please submit your assignment for Africa by Monday, 
next week or face total how do you spell annihilate? No, whatever. Okay? So I've got this podcast running and I'm going to send this to iWeb. So it's a podcast, right? And this is assignment one right here, right? So when you go to the podcast, you can say assignments, okay? That's assignment one, we'll go to the entry and just edit it as much as we want. You can see that whatever I wrote is already here. And I'm going to save this to a folder. So the URL is whatever your website is. Okay. I'm just going to uh, create a new folder, call it Irvin's, and put that on the desktop. You do own all the copyrights, right? <laughs> okay, so let's just quit everything. Yeah, we'll save this, and we'll save that. And this is the site. Okay. Click on podcast. There's a little button there that allows you to subscribe to this podcast. It sends it direct to iTunes so that you can download it. And if you click on this assignment, you see that it says here assignment one. And you will see that there's a link there. It's not very clear. Let me just pop it up. See the link there? Yeah. Right? So when I play this movie. Hi, my name is Irvin. I notice that we have chapters here. Only one in this case, because there's only one chapter. And when you click on the link, it actually goes to the article in question. So that way you can give an assignment to a student very, very easily. It takes you all of what? Five minutes to do. Of course, you probably do much better work than Irvin. Not because uh, you're better than him, but because you've had more time. I'm sure Irving can do great podcasts. <laughs> okay? And you could actually connect to it in iTunes and later on download that assignment and carry that assignment with you. Okay, so now that is the teacher giving the assignment. Now I'm the student and I would like to do this assignment. So, I have a so, question. Sure. Is the, is the RSS on the right. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at that. Right? Okay, this doesn't work because I'm offline. But what it actually does is that it shows you the RSS feed. Basically, all the articles will come out as uh, yeah, from your website. I'll tell you what. Give me a minute. Let me just do this. I'm going to put it in your home directory and I'm going to turn on web sharing because I think that's going to make it work. We just go to Berlin, we just go to Sites folder, and I'm just going to dump this in here. Just replace everything. Now I'm going to go to the Mac and turn on web sharing. Right? And let's hit on this. Right? And let's see what happens when I click on uh, podcast and we go to the RSS field. This doesn't work because the, the URL is not correct. Yeah. But if I were to put it in, it would work. Let's get the whole URL there. Open back high web.
see if that works better. So that works now, and you'll notice that that's the movie, and you could click on it. Hi, my name is Karvi. Okay. I think you know, I so that's why I'm on Africa. The deadline is tomorrow. Now, if I have iTunes, I could subscribe to this now. So that's how easy it is, okay? Especially since I didn't plan on doing that and I managed to save myself, lucky me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be a student and I'm going to do my assignment. So again, I'm going to create another page. myself in as student. Okay. Right. And uh, I'll log out of Urban and log in again as the student account. So once again we get a uh, blank slate. Okay. Now when I do my presentation, I want to impress him. Okay, he's my teacher. I want to impress him so I want to do a really good job. And I'm gonna need all of you to help. So we're gonna have some fun. Okay. So first of all, it's Africa. So I'm going to create a little song to put in my presentation. Now if you want to do a podcast and if your machine doesn't have an internal microphone, you could use one of these. Right. This is a little USB headset with a mic and it connects using the USB port. The nice thing about this is that it's not expensive, it's actually less than 100 ringgit. Okay, but the sound quality is very, very good. But if you have a Mac, it's not a problem because the Mac already has a microphone. Okay, so I'm just going to create a little song okay, for my podcast. And I'm going to create it in GarageBand. This is a little fast. So let's go down all the way. 80. Okay. And we're going to add a new voice. New track. Real instrument. Okay. Let's uh, try and record something. Okay, just listen. No, 
not good. Can we try it again? <laughs> Maybe I, I have to tell you what I'm trying to do first yeah, before, yeah. before you do it, yeah? Okay? I'm going to do that little song that you heard when you came in. Eh? Okay? So I'm going to record my own voice first. Yeah, that song. <laughs> you want <wanna>? that? <clears throat> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sits. Sleeps, right? Yes. Sleeps tonight. Okay. I'll have to turn off the metro now because it's distracting. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Can you do the Wim away part? <laughs> okay, I'm going to disable this now. And I'm going to put in the headphones because otherwise you'll just have a lot of feedback. Alright, so we're just going to use headphones for a little while. So I've made a mistake actually. I have to create another track. Yes. So we'll get another track in. Get a real instrument. Go here and record. Actually, it sounds really bad, but never mind. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna have to shorten this a little. Copy and uh, paste. Let's hear what that sounds like. this and uh, put there again, right? All right. Okay, 
And you can do things like add funky effects, right? Let's say, for instance, if I wanted to have a different effect for the second, uh, for the first clip, I wanted to make the you know the voice deeper or higher. So I can go back and show the master track, show the track info. And once I do that, I can go to uh, master track, real instrument, and go to vocals. And we can put here things like a helium breath, <laughs> right? Which will make it sound like this. Okay, you could have a gospel choir. Rewind. vocals. That actually begins to sound pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you could even have things like monster breath, monster voice, but it's not here. So once you have the song, okay, you can see that the potential here, all right, you are not ripping out songs from CDs, whatever. It's your kids, your students that are actually doing the song. Now I'm going to save this song and export it to uh, iTunes. Right? So we'll go to share and we say send song to iTunes. Right? And while it's doing that, I'm going to go and get some photos of Africa. Right? So we go. Now that's quite enough of that. <laughs> so we go back to that Wikipedia link or why don't I do something else that's different we'll go to Google instead right? and we'll look at pictures of Africa I'm going to get some photos. Okay. But this is like mostly maps, not very interesting. Anyway, we'll just have one map. See full size image. Ooh, nice. Okay. And I'm going to save it to my iPhoto library because I want to use it later. So then it's there. And I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to look at maybe African people. And we do a search. Oh, excellent. Beautiful. So we'll just uh, have a few of these photos up. I'm going to put all this inside my library. That's two. That's three. And we'll have one more. That's four. So we got four photos. Now I'm going to make this into a slideshow. Africa project. Let's create that. And let's put this in. Make a slideshow out of it. should be first. Okay. Right? So we have a Ken Burns effect. 
there, it's there, there, and there. And I'm going to change the music. Go to iTunes. Okay. Okay, so I could present that, but let's see what I can do with it in GarageBand. So let's quit iPhoto. Let's quit GarageBand. I don't actually have to quit. I'm just uh, showing you the steps in the process, right? So we'll go back to GarageBand, and this time, I'm going to create a new podcast. Call it uh, Africa Cast. I will put that on the desktop. Okay. And I'm going to use that song. There it is. Right. We're going to shorten this because I don't want the rest of the clip. It's about here, I think. Let's try that. Okay. And now let's put in the photos that I uh, collected. We go to iPhoto. Okay. So this is the first photo. Goes in. Okay. Then I'll put in the second picture. second picture needs to be in a little more. Put that there. So the third picture goes here. And the fourth picture will go there. Right? And you'll notice that it's automatically created all the chapters. It's nice to have a 30-inch display. <laughs> okay, and for every one of these chapters, you could put in chapter title, map of Africa. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> uh, people washing dogs. Warrior, right? Oh, no episode artwork. No worries. I'll take my own picture. <laughs> <laughs> Not interesting enough. That's better. <laughs> okay. BGM. So I'll just put this in. I'll just hide this for the wall. Right? 
So we go back to garage then. Okay, so that's the episode artwork. And information about this podcast. Mr. Irvin's assignment. Okay, artist, Shah. And since I've got people not wearing clothes there, we'll put that explicit. <laughs> okay. This is my assignment. I hope you give me good marks. Right? Share, send podcast to my web. assignment is here. Okay. Shah's assignment. Okay. This is my assignment. I hope you give me marks. Right? And we'll just publish this. Now what would be the URL? Sharing. Okay. This is the URL. So when I publish this, we're going to go straight to my sites folder here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right. And again, when you go to iTunes, you click subscribe it should download that podcast. How big is the podcast? How okay, is how big is that particular file? Okay. Okay, this is because I didn't change it. Um, let's go and have a look at the actual movie file. I'll do it another way. We'll just go here to iTunes. Yeah. You'll notice that when you do explicit, it comes out a little explicit. Okay. That is 400k. We were talking about um, less than 10 seconds or 20 seconds. That particular movie is 25 seconds. That's uh, without a video. No, that's with the video. That's with the video. Okay. People watching clothes, notice that uh, all the chapter markers are there. Right? So I can go straight to dance, I'll go back to the map, I'll go back to people watching. Now, you can even do this. I have um, this uh, movie 
Let's see. So just open this movie. And we can choose export. And when I choose export, I'm going to change it to 3G format. Okay, and put that on the desktop. Okay. Now this is a movie in 3G. Oh, it's doing it. Now this is the movie in 3G format. Okay. Let's look at the size of this one. 230K. So it goes down. Now, here's hoping that my phone is working properly today. Because I'm going to transfer this file. To my phone. So you can see that video is actually on the phone, okay. and you could actually uh, watch it on your phone. Okay. So this works as well. And um, that's the end of the first part of the presentation. <laughs> but I really hope